All right, some good news. A uh, buddy of mine, Dave, he has a engine hoist, and he's coming over here right now to drop it off. So I want to get this garage cleared out and get a space ready for when it comes. So come on, let's have some fun. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be our workspace for man versus machine during the winter time. We're going to reconstruct the engine right here on the stand. We'll have this table, lights, we'll have tools, and the warmth. So we'll, we should be able to accomplish our goal, hopefully. So um, please keep joining us. It's going to be exciting. There's going to be a lot of learning going on for you and for me. So it should be uh, a fun time. Okay. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye. There he is right there. Hey, how's it going, buddy? What's going on? The engine hoist has arrived. I see why it wouldn't fit in my car. It's yeah. a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But, okay, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know. You know, it depends what you would take apart because it does all disassemble. Yeah, because it comes in a one. box originally, right? I mean. Yeah. Yep. Just like a big box or whatever it was. I can't remember now. Come down with it. This will fold outwards so you can't hang on to that. Okay. There we go. It's not too bad. Oh, yeah, and that's where the legs would go. That's it. That's the uh, that's Dave and the engine hoist. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But anyways, with this uh, the legs. Let's put it this way so you can see it. In okay. The camera. Okay. So the legs are gonna go in here. Yep. Let's check it out. So we pull that cotter pin out of that one. Mm. Right here. Yep. Okay. Set this one down. It's pretty handy. Yeah. Now you just put it in there. Well, it goes in the last one. Yep. Okay. And then this one. Uh, what it is too also is uh oh yeah, you're seeing you're that. able to fold it up. Yeah, and you're okay. not using it. So and then you would put this pin here so it don't come down. So and then that's how you would put yeah. it in your truck or whatever if you you know if you want to take it apart. Right. Okay, cool. Well, and using it down, yeah, for storage or whatever, you just put them up like that. Okay. Nice. So I'll just get it up kind of, If you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Not rolling it everywhere. And the weight here. Here will now. Had to lift it. Sorry. Yeah. Success. Nice. 
Yep, just like a jack on the car. And there's a release it and it pulls out. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, and then um, how does this hook up? Just to that. Yep. Yeah. So that leveler will level it. And we'll see what else you might need. Yeah, I don't know. It'll uh, it'll adjust. Takes a bit. <laughs> but look at how. Like, yeah, I mean it's, it's real uh, yeah. finesseful. So nice. Okay, yeah. I guess yeah, if you had the trans on it, it would be a lot more heavier in the right. back. Or, but I'm not gonna do that. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, and then and that's, that's just extra chain. chain if you need it. I don't know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, this is way big, way bigger than I thought. But I guess that's how it would be. Like yeah. this would go underneath your car. The wheel would right. be right here. And then here's the different lengths: one oh, quarter yeah, ton, okay. half yeah. ton, three quarter ton, one ton. Okay. So the shorter it is, the more strength it has. Right. Okay. Sweet. Very cool. All right. To go, <laughs> all systems are going now. Yeah. That was sweet that Dave was able to come over and drop off the engine hoist. That'll really help. Thank you, Dave. And another thing that I didn't show you, it happened off camera, but he was able to remove that stupid clip that I had so much trouble with. He was just able to pull it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on the fan so it doesn't get lost in all this garage. All right, stay tuned. Okay, there's one more thing. Hold on, let me go get it. All right, so here's the other advice is we got some of this. Can you get that on camera? Silicone paste, they call it. What I like to do is I like to put it on any type of electrical fitting like this. You just like do 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 do, put it on there. Don't be afraid. <clears throat> what that's going to do there perfect what that's going to do is it's going to not only make the electrical connection way better but it's also going to make it waterproof so no nothing that mother nature throws at that thing is going to make it stop hallelujah all right this episode is finished my friends so until next time, I will see you then. This is Chris from Man vs. Machine signing off.